This is a 1932 Stutz DV32 custom LeBaron long wheelbase sedan. This car matters because it's very, very rare. It's a very fast car, which has a uh, four valves per cylinder dual overhead cam engine. One of the most sophisticated engines uh, made in America. Nothing has been restored on the car. The paint is original, the chrome is original, the interior is original, the engine is original, but it only has 23,000 miles on it, so it's just getting broken in. This car was bought new in Chicago in 1932 by A.R. Stockenberg. He was an engineer and he was in a fortunate enough position to be able to afford this very, very special, very rare and very expensive car. It was a second car for him, but in 1939, with the war developing in Europe, it was very hard to get rubber and tires, and he wasn't able to get tires for both cars, so he had to get tires for the uh, Nash um, so that he could uh, use that for work, and so he decided to store the 1932 Stutz. And in 1970, after it had been there for 31 years, uh, he moved back to his uh, original home of Rockford, Illinois. He put the car into his garage in Rockford and it stayed there. He passed away in 1975 and their daughter actually had an enclosed trailer custom made for the car and she towed it up to Wisconsin and put it in her garage. It stayed in Wisconsin in her garage for another 25 years and finally in 2012 she decided maybe it was time to sell the car. And when I heard about this incredibly rare and incredibly beautiful car uh, completely original and actually in the hands of its original family, undriven for 73 years. I couldn't wait to go and see it. And of course, it was uh, emotionally thrilling to open that garage in Wisconsin and, and see this car for the first time. I had a few photos of it, but uh, they, they didn't prepare me for uh, just the, the, the presence of this car. It's, it's so just beautiful and long, and it's just uh, it, it's an exquisite piece of art. Just when you think uh, they've all been found, there's still something really uh, fantastic out there, even in 2012. I'm Jim Callahan, and this car matters.